Control power. And lift off of Starlink. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. At T plus 30 seconds, F9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 4 East from California's Vandenberg Space Force Base at 8.57 p.m. Pacific Time. And the next major milestone coming up is Max-Q, which is when the vehicle Power experiences the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Falcon 9 is supersonic. As you just heard, Falcon 9 is traveling supersonically, meaning it is going faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there you just heard the call out for Max Q, which again is when the rocket experiences the largest amount of external stresses that it will see during its flight today. And we are about one minute away from a series of events, being MECO, stage separation, SCS-1, and fairing separation. MECO stands for main engine cutoff, which is when all nine Merlin engines will shut down in preparation for stage separation. And during stage separation, pneumatic pushers will separate the first and second stages, and the first stage will begin its journey back to Earth, while the second stage will light its Merlin vacuum engine, making second engine start one to propel our Starlink satellites to their planned orbits. And shortly after, the fairing halves will separate and fall away from the vehicle to later be recovered. And let's keep an eye out for these events happening in pretty quick succession, about 20 seconds from now. Miko. Stage separation. In back ignition. And as you just saw and heard over the nets, we had successful Miko, stage step, and SCS-1. Separation. We also just had confirmation of successful fairing deployment. We will be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel Go Beyond. Both of the fairing halves that supported today's mission are flight proven and flying for their sixth, sixth time tonight. And the next major milestone coming up is entry burn on the first stage, which is one of the two burns it'll go through to prepare for landing on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's stage a call one, out. FTS says saved. There's a call out for stage one entry burn startup. And the stage one, which we also call the booster, has now ignited engines one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. Stage two, FTS says saved. Stage one entry burn shutdown. Stage one landing burn. There's confirmation that the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And this Falcon 9 first stage has now successfully launched and landed for its fifth time.